Okay. All right. So this video is about analyzing the graphs of polynomials. But we start with a blank slate because we need to be reminded what a degree is. All right? What is the degree of a polynomial? So uh, let's say I have x cubed plus 6x to the 7th minus 5x to the 4th plus 3x plus 1. All right. So what is the degree of this polynomial? And if you said three, that would be incorrect. The degree of this polynomial is seven. You find the highest exponent and that's the degree. The next question is, what is the leading coefficient? When we ask the question, what is the leading coefficient? We're really just looking for what is the coefficient of the term with the highest exponent, right? So the degree comes from the highest exponent. The leading coefficient comes from the coefficient of the term with the highest exponent. So here, the leading coefficient is 6. So it's not 1, even though x cubed is up front. It's not 1. The leading coefficient is the coefficient of the term with the highest exponent. All right. That's the setup for this. Okay. All right. So looking at the analyzing the graph of polynomial functions. So when we talked about degree, right, we're talking about the highest exponent, and we can talk about it as being even degree or an odd degree. Even numbers are numbers that end with 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. Odd degrees are, or odd numbers are numbers that end with 1, 3, 5, 7, or 9. Okay. Okay. All right, uh, what is a positive leading coefficient? What is a positive leading coefficient? So if I have something like, so let's say I have a degree of two, so I said with three x squared plus four x minus six. So this has a positive leading coefficient, right? And if we, if we graph this, it'll end up looking like this. If we put a negative sign on there, it ends up looking like this. Now, one thing I wanna point out though the important part is actually the arrows at the end, okay? It's not the things in the middle. It's the arrows at the end that's important. So if you have a positive leading coefficient, both of them end up going up. If you have a negative leading coefficient, then both of them end up going down. If you have an odd degree and you have a positive leading coefficient, the left side will be pointing down and the right side will be pointing up. If you have a negative leading coefficient, it has the opposite result. The left side will be going up and the right side will be going down. All right. Okay. Uh, so, so basically, this is actually asking the question about N behavior. And we will see that again when I do a full example. We're looking at N behavior. Did I spell that right? Is there a U in there somewhere? I don't know. All right. Relative minimum, relative maximum. So when we talk about a relative minimum, relative maximum, we're talking about little low points for a relative minimum. So these two are relative minimums. These are minimums. And I will frequently just use the word min or minimum instead of relative minimum because that's a mouthful. All right. And here is a relative maximum. It is it is a, So it hits a high point in the middle of some points. Okay, so it's a low point in the middle of some points. And when we talk about a minimum degree is, what is the lowest degree that will produce a graph that looks like this? Okay, so, uh, and this is how you do it. So you count the directions you're taking. That's one, two, three, four. That's a four degree. So this is the minimum degree is four. Oh, I should probably fill in this. Relative min is a low point. And... Well, to max is a high point. All right. Now, this part down here, um, we're going to do on a different video. So don't worry about that for now. So what I'm going to do now is analyze a full graph. And that's on the other side of this paper. Okay. It's the other side of the paper. All right. So here we have a graph. Okay. And the question is, so the first, I should probably ask this question. Is it an odd or even degree? So you notice they're both going down. So they're both going in the same direction. And if you go back, right, they're both going the same direction. 
it's an even degree. So we put even. And they're both going down as opposed to both going up. If they're both going down, then it's a negative leading coefficient. So when we answer this question, what is the sign of leading coefficient? We'd say it's negative. All right, and then what's the end behavior? So what I want you to notice with this, let me roll that up for a second. So it's the limit of f of x as x goes to negative infinity. So when I when we have this, this is the LIM stands for the word limit. This is what we're talking about, limit of f of x. So that's still going to be the function. And this part right here is the behavior of x. Okay, but, but it's not asking about x. What's the, it's asking about f of x. Okay, as x goes to negative, this is essentially just saying what's going on on the left side. That's that's all it is. What's going on on the left side? If I have the other one, limit of f of x, as x goes to positive infinity, this right here is talking about the right side. What's going on on the right side? And our answer is either going to be positive infinity, or it could be negative infinity, but not both, okay? Or, I mean, here. So this could be positive infinity, negative infinity. So any combination of those two, or those four, I guess. All right, so end behavior, looking at this one. So what's going on on the left side? So left side is over here. So it's going down, so it's negative infinity. So, so whenever we ask this question of limits, we're gonna say it's basically it's going up or going down. For all our problems, it's going up or going down. So this one's going down, and on the right-hand side, it's going down, so we say negative infinity. So those are your only options in this section of math, okay? It's either gonna be both, it, it's gonna be either positive or negative infinity when we talk about end behavior. Later on, we'll have other values, but for this section, they're either going to be positive or negative infinity. Domain. Domain is going for this, for all of these, all of these, for all polynomials, the domain is all real numbers. All, you can either write the symbol for real numbers, or you can say all real, or you can write ARN, that's fine with me. Now, range, range is going to be the Y values. Now, this one actually has the highest Y value has a highest y value. That means y has to be less than or equal to that y value. All the y values are below that. And the highest y value is this one. Remember the second number in the order pair is the y value. So we say y value is less than 12.9. And we're gonna go ahead and just round to the nearest tenth. Okay. X intercepts or roots or zeros are when the y value are zero, right? So you have y value zero here, y value zero here, y value zero here. I know this is kind of confusing. This two is pointing at two comma zero is pointing there. Zero comma zero is pointing there. Okay. So, and you only need to write the X values. So it's negative one, zero, two, and four, right? There's a X intercept there. There's a zero there. There's a zero there. And there's a zero there, right? What's the Y intercept? Y intercept is, turns out to be the same as the X intercept. One of the X intercepts. Okay. So, X intercepts, there can be several or none. Y intercept, there will always be one. For polynomials, there will always be one Y intercept. All right, what's the relative min? I'm sorry, relative max. So you got two of them. There's one up here and one over there. All right, and we're just gonna round it to the nearest uh, tenth. So that's gonna be negative 0.6. And what's the Y value? It's 2.9, oops. 2.9, not 29, all right? And then the other one is 3.2, comma, looking at this one up here, 12.9. All right, now those are maximums and the minimum. So we forgot to label this one, but it's pretty easy. The y, x value is one, the y value is negative six. Ooh, I think I might have told the wrong people. One comma negative six. And what is the minimum degree? So we just counted. The directions one two three four so the minimum degree is four all right the other one you'll be asked to graph it from scratch okay but you will still have to analyze it all right but that's the end of this video oh wait 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 let's put in the skirt all right what happens when you have a weird situation like this all right what happens when you have a weird situation like this we consider that a direction. So, so the only thing weird about this is what is the minimum degree, 
Okay, everything else is normal. End behavior, negative infinity, negative infinity. There's one max. Oh, but there's no min in this one. We do not consider that a min. Okay, all right. So, but the what? So the minimum degree is the only one that's in question when you have a weird situation like that. So we call this one, call this two, and when it levels off, we call that one. So that's one, two, three, four. So the minimum degree of this one is four. Okay, the minimum degree. What's the minimum degree of this one? So you have a little situation here, weird situation here where it's leveling off. So we say one, two, three, four, five. Five. All right. And that's it. Now that's the end of the video. Okay, bye-bye.